the more I think about it. Wait, yo, right, wait. we're back with the podcast friendly fire. We got Dashy today. Let's go. Welcome. We What's were up? just talking about it, dude. This is the OG show. <laughs> I started Dub Dub Two. That was right when you were coming up, bro. Remember that yeah, time? Man, you're the OG. You're the OG. I remember Excellent. the first time we were watching these as a community. I think it was like after Seattle. Was it after Seattle? Something like that, right? Yeah, it was after right yeah. Seattle. Yeah. Oh my god, my memory's actually got like for that. But, <laughs> but I, I remember with like the whole community was watching. There was like I remember we had like 10k viewers or something like that. And then there was, was just so many pros in the chat, and then people were just like you were just answering the questions that like all the pros wanted to say, but. Or like you know what I'm saying, like the post event, like almost like conference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like this is this is kind of lit. Then everyone's just giving like their opinions and stuff. Yeah, man, it was, it was cool. a crazy time, dude. And I, I'm super excited to get you on here. Obviously, you and Jay have some history. Jay was dumb hyped that uh you were actually down to hop on the podcast. Yeah, uh, my godfather. Yeah, That's the straight up. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I can't lie. Um, what's up, B? How we doing, baby? How we doing? We chilling, bro. We grinding. I mean, like, yo, we got champs coming up, stage five. So it's mm -hmm. it's lock in time. It's grind time. It is. Okay, okay, I expect nothing less out of you, kid. You know that. You know I expect sure. nothing but greatness out of you. We showing up. We showing up locked. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Um. So as you guys know, how friendly fire goes. We're gonna talk about like his life, the cod, his cod career. We'll get into the topical stuff, which means current events later on in the episode, and then friendly fire segment at the end. But uh, Jay, why don't you just start it off, man? Let's get it going. Yeah, man. I just wanna, you know, first of all, say thank you for coming on. And yes, before sir. we get this interview, bro, you <sighs> are. <laughs> You are a superstar in our league, and you know that from top to bottom, bro. So it's an awesome experience to obviously have you here. I've known you for a long time, seen you come into the community. So it's just crazy to see how you've grown. But let's start this one off, my brother. All right. So what is it like in the life of Dashy, bro? Like, what is life like for Dashy, bro? Talk to me. Honestly, every day, it's nothing crazy. I literally just, I get on an hour and a half before scrims. I get to the studio and i mean i get some breakfast for the most part today i got mcdonald's breakfast you know how to like, you know i had to go offset you know hash I mean? brown? I, yeah absolutely two hash browns if you want oh. two of them because one hash one, browns damn. slap yeah not egg mcmuffin but uh everything's pretty consistent i get here an hour early um like to warm up for about like half an hour i usually mm -hmm. just i play cod a lot it's like probably around probably like 10 to 12 hours a day yeah mm -hmm. and i'm here for a while so um i don't really got time for anything else so hey brandon you have a roommate out there or you just you got your own place I don't. yeah oh, that's I got my nice own place. how long yeah, have you uh had your own place for oh uh, i guess like uh, this is my third year but um actually no and when i was in la i was living with tej but mm -hmm. which that was so trolly the more i think about it but <laughs> <laughs> it was not no we were not meant to like room together for sure but yeah but here I've, I've been here for this is my third year living or alone here how um you know, obviously, because prior to that, you were living at home, like with, with the fam, right? And when you were mm -hmm. out, and so how is it like? Uh, do you feel like you you fend pretty well on your own, like being in your own place? Like, uh, at first, it was it was definitely different. I'm definitely used to. I'm like I'm spoiled back home. I can't lie. My mom yeah. does my laundry, just the deep oh. She makes food. You no know, no problem with She's, that. That, yeah, then I'm like, damn, I remember being out here. I was like, yo, I gotta get, order Chick fil A or Chipotle. <laughs> like, I'm trying to have a home cooked meal. Like, I'm on the knees. I want some salad, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. bread. like we yeah. got nothing here. So, yeah, but uh, it did, definitely uh, took some adjusting, but obviously, it's part of life. You gotta grow up eventually. Absolutely. So. Yeah. But yeah. It was I just like probably the first week or two? I was like, damn, like this is like, this is a little weird, but yeah, absolutely. Cool yeah so like um one thing i wanted to start off with obviously talking about your life and stuff and, and how you're living but also like your mentality so like you are very like fun loving you crack jokes like whenever i'm watching your stream and stuff like that just in general it's just how you are but you're also like fiercely competitive like when i watch you mm -hmm. play other games like valorant you're radiant in you're just frying everybody if somebody talks mm -hmm. shit, you immediately gotta clap them back like and you do oh, it with yeah, your yeah. gameplay which is fire so i'm mm -hmm. like when I see that, it's a lot different than some of the other pros, like just straight up. It, even how it's been when somebody's had little beef with you, you never say anything really overtly back to the player. You just kind of wait till your next time you get to play them and then you go crazy. So yeah. where did you get that from? Because it's kind of unique compared to some of the other pros that we haven't seen. Did you play sports growing up? Like, where's that come from? Yeah, so I played hockey for almost 10 years. I wasn't anything too crazy at it, but... Actually, no, what am I saying? I could have, I could have went to Brian. I could have went to Could have been yeah, yeah. on Toronto, baby. Yeah, yeah. I could have been on the Leafs, baby. It could have been the oh, center, but well, all good though. They're doing good right now, so we'll let them rock. But, yeah. um, 
I don't know. I'm just super competitive. I just, I think it's just I hate losing. It's like I think Damon said this once, but like I just hate losing when I like winning. So I just whenever I lose, it just it pisses me off. Honestly, it just motivates, um, it motivates me. And um, I don't know. There's just something about like I've only won two events, but there's something about like tasting it. It's just like so yeah. like yeah. it's mm-hmm. so like I don't know. It just drives me. So um, probably just that. Jay, what is your what is your mentality like when you're losing? Because some people react to losing completely different. Like, do you just sit there and cave, like go to your room, turn off the lights, throw on some Marvel uh, yeah. by Drake, or <laughs> like you the guy that instantly goes back to the boss is just like, yo, we messed up here, we messed up on this. Like, we're instantly That's gonna be not always fixed good this. though. Like, what yeah. yeah, no, it's not. I'm just wondering what's his aspect. Like, how do you take losing? Like, what's your ritual? I guess it depends. If it's a, a league match. Like, I'll just be pissed off for, like, 30 minutes, and I'll watch the VOD back and see, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't think we do it as a team because it's just too fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially, mm-hmm. like, the day of. Um, I'll just watch it back on my own and see, what, like, what I could have did personally because I always look at... Because um, even if I played good or played bad, I could always, like, pinpoint, like, a situation or yeah. um, an area that I could improve on. Even if it's, like, let's say, even if I got a two-piece somewhere and it looks like that... Um, I couldn't have done any more. Like I, I was like, like thinking back, like nah. I remember this. Like I just made a decision here that was like that I could have made better or something like that. But I always like look at my own stuff. And then the next day, obviously that's when like we'll talk about it as a team. Like yo, we gotta talk. Like you know what I'm saying? Just like the default, mm-hmm. um, like whatever talking points that you gotta do. But um, wait, what was the question? Again? No, he's just asking like that? after losses how you deal oh, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, like- and, and on land, oh dude, it depends. If we're still in the tourney, I don't know. It, it like it, it pisses me off. Of, like or like we probably just like. I don't know. I need to go to my room for like two hours, just chill out. Um, just get my Drake? mind off of it. You got Jake playing? Hey, Boogie? <laughs> Which one? No music, yo. Just straight no raw. Music? Just That's how I was. No music, bro. Music, bro. music would make oh, me more man. mad, bro. Yeah, but... yeah. Like, I'll just be like, little baby. I'm just like, damn, I'm not trying to hear this. And I want to like punch my wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm just like, just try to forget about it. So, like, uh, you know, kind of on that same topic of like your fierce competitive nature. And you said it comes from that you hate losing, right? Are there any, like, athletes that you look to, like, mentality-wise? Like, a lot of people look to, like, Kobe and Jordan and stuff. Like, I find myself I found myself back in the day, I would watch, like, you know, clips of them. I'm like, how are they so laser-focused and stuff like that? And obviously, you try to, you know, emulate that in some way as a competitor in anything, right? Just because they're the pinnacle of competition. Is there anybody like that for you, or is that something that you've done before? You're like, damn, I'm inspired by that guy. Yeah, I mean, I think the like the popular answer is probably Kobe and it, it kind of is for me, but I don't want to like, just, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just give like a recycle answer that probably mm-hmm. hella people gave, but yeah, I mean, Kobe was the reason I got into basketball. He was, um, I was kind of pretty much it, but, uh, like he just, I kind of looked up to him. He was someone, he just uh, was stayed even kill. You know what I mean? He, yeah. he could go up two Oh in a series and then, then phase me could go, go down. Oh, two doesn't matter if he's down 20 up 20. It's, it's just always the same. He's just always in the moment. So just kind of that level of thinking, I guess that inspired me. So, piggybacking off of that, in gaming, was there anybody that inspired you in gaming? Because obviously you had to come up, and there were pros before you, in other mm-hmm. esports, anywhere. Is there anybody that you look to, you're like, damn, that guy's dominant. Like, I'm trying to be kind of like that. Yeah, no, for sure. It's definitely formal. I mean, it's so trolly because he's right next to me right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> But it was definitely him. Um, especially coming up in IW, that was... Um, I think that was, yeah, that was the year they won champs, so, um, he was definitely fine on that game. It was just the way he carried himself. He was just so, um, I don't know, it was just like, it was like him against the whole, or him against the world, like, it was, or, or his team against everybody else. And he it just was. had that mindset of, yeah, like, it, it was just like, he was about his business, and, um, I just remember him being the best player against him, I'm like, holy shit, this guy's, like, different. I gotta actually, like, step <laughs> up my game if I'm gonna actually, like, compete with this guy. But, it was just his mindset that he was... Um, it was super inspiring seeing somebody grind like that and just like almost like he was like willing his team to wins and it was uh some that uh to this day I try to emulate. That's dope to hear, man. Honestly, that's crazy. Cause you guys like if you were to compare a player, no, like... nah, but if you were to compare a player to Matt, like you are the closest comparison. Like mm-hmm. really, like truly, cause it's like you know a guy who goes out there, he's just gonna give you forty every time. It's like he's, he's gonna go out there and fry and that's that's kind of what you do you win your ones you 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 will them to to wins when you when they need you to and uh when the team's playing well you just you, you blend in right but when they need you to take over you do that uh how do you feel like you've changed um as a player from when you first came in because you first came in you were teaming with legends bro 
like yeah a- after like after the initial rigmarole of jumping from like you know starts like you team with jay and then you went to another team for a month mm-hmm. but you got that your first big opportunity was like straight to the top of the ladder the legends talk me through how that was and then guide me to like where you, you feel like you are now like the end result yeah it's definitely um insane because the more i think about it um i basically joined optic and i was replacing yeah i was replacing Matt, like basically on the dynasty team so at first it was yeah it didn't hit me until like maybe a month in or when i was scrimming with them every day and it was like a new routine and i'm like damn i'm looking over at damon and then crim six and scum i'm like how the fuck did i get here like, <laughs> i was like i was like damn did that loki just finesse and then, <laughs> but thank god it was bo4 and i was nasty but uh i don't know it was it was definitely different especially coming up because it was, everything kind of happened so fast but not re- oh. i don't know I, but also like I, don't, I feel like i had to prove myself for like a year and a half two years i don't know like, it was it was weird because it was like both feelings of like finally i got my shot but at the same time like damn like th- it's this shot you know what i'm saying so well you had to prove yourself jay remember because i even me like all of us you know me and pac-man we was like all these it's the chances. two years <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was this sitting there i was like this guy's only getting eight so i was like i was like why does this guy get a shot you know what i mean like little things like everybody was like that though so you definitely still had to prove yourself and Jay, you were right long. You were there, and you were the guy. You were the proponent. Like this kid is gonna be number one. I oh, remember. Oh yeah, I found myself at a point in my career where it was just like I was on the downhill, bro. I was getting closer and closer to like the end of my career. But the only thing that usually sparks a guy that's been playing for a little bit is a young, young, talented player. And when I saw Dashy play, I've only seen him play Search and Destroy before, but like just the S and D mind that he had. It, it was insane, bro. Like, so that was what, like, really sparked my eye because obviously you had the opportunity with the age difference that just came back in going into IW that we were able to pick up a nice little roster. It was me, you, Ricky, and, and Donnie, Donnie right? Temp. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was our young team, bro. And, like, watching you perform there, I always knew that you were destined to be, like, one of the best players ever because of just your raw talent. And I knew that once, because you were starting at such a young age, all of us, we believed in you. Me, Donnie, and Rick all believed in you. Yeah. And it's crazy to see how much you've grown from that aspect. So, like, talk to me, because I remember even after we were teaming, like, we went from straight ripping, then we went to complexity. When we got to complexity, I was your teammate for a little bit, but then I ended up coaching you. And from that point on, I remember we used to always sit there, we had conversations, bro, like, yo, like, you're i always used to tell you because you know when i was going to you guys with the four perspectives that i had you know your teammates ricky blatt and sensa it was really tough to watch those <laughs> guys, it was really <laughs> tough Doug, to watch Doug those would, yo, guys, we'd, we'd be in columbus and then yo doug would walk over to our apartment shirtless bro with captain shirtless, america pajama. Bro. only captain pajama yo the like captain america pajama like, what the hell and then he'd look <laughs> over arms crossed like this be like i'm trying to win a world championship brandon i'm like yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> he pulled up 20 and 30 two yeah. minutes in hell like, yo. Bass has got 45 like yo I'm and like, brandon yo, what time is this watch. Is this like a practice day? Like it's not even a match day. It's we like... lost a league match. Yeah, we lost like United or something. Like three two, and then Doug shirtless like this. Yeah, I swear to God, like walk over to literally our apartment. It's like Literally. Two minute walk. I'm like, yeah. damn, bro, get a shirt on. <laughs> but he'd look at me dead in the face and be like, I'm trying to win a world championship. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, but I. But I remember those conversations. Even when we used to get out of those scrims, you were just sitting there oh like, oh my girl, god, only a year or two. Like, I imagine like what it's like to play with Karma three times. Three time champion. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's it's and then different. The fact that it all went in full circle, and you had that opportunity, and you have seized that moment to the maximum, bro, is cool. insane, bro. Because you only played like two years before you got your opportunity, and you never looked back since then, bro. You are gross. Well, it's it's similar to yeah, it's similar to Matt's story. I mean, Matt was mm-hmm. one year, and then you know when you're when people notice that, and then you you get that opportunity, you go in and you make it happen. So back to that again. So you're on the team. You're looking over, like you said, you got Damon, you got Seth next to you, you got Krim, and you're like, what the hell? But you guys hit the ultimate high, you win a championship, and mm-hmm. you were frying. You got MVP there, Brandon, or? I think you yeah. did, right? That's so you got MVP. Right? Yeah. yeah, you had mm-hmm. to. I mean, you had one of the craziest clips I've ever seen in yeah. my life. It's still top 10 clip of all time, five for piece? sure. Uh, maybe top oh, five. Oh, oh wait, that, that was uh, Champs, the five piece. Oh, was that at Champs? Okay, whatever, yeah, it all blends yeah. in. It was a long time ago. Either way, yeah. you were gross. You win the first event, you get MVP. Yeah right and then you guys start to have some problems and then this is the first time where like you're having problems on a team but you can't look around and be like these guys are ass because they're all good right so it's different so how was that like working through those issues because you're still developing as a as a player at this point 
Yeah, it was different for sure. Um, I don't know. I think our issues were just complacency issues. It was just like, because we won the first event, but it wasn't just we won the first event. We were just getting on every day, we're winning every scrim. Like, we wouldn't even drop maps. We, we won all four of the pro downs, and then we went to the tournament and lost four maps. It, it was kind of like, oh, we're good. No one's going to fuck with us, you know what I'm saying, yeah. for the rest of the year. And then, obviously, we took a three-week break after we won, and then, uh, like, the beginning of January hits, because it was, like, the beginning of December, Vegas, and then, and the, like, New Year starts, my visa, that's when the whole P1 thing happened, so I missed the first couple league matches, and then yeah. Tommy had to fill in. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I guess from that point on, we just never, I felt like we were always a really good team that could win, because we got third, like, three other times, Champs, yep. Anaheim, and London, but we just, like... I don't know. We just didn't have that same clutch ice that we did at the first event, and then um, we'd lose. Our S and D kind of fell off towards the end. Our HP wasn't as um, wasn't as dominant, and then that's all it takes just for another team to catch up. And then Hunter T just kind of got the better of us. I think towards like the last three tournaments or four tournaments. Where did I you mean, guys they get? Were on us. They were shit. Where did you guys get in Miami? You guys, I thought I remember you guys. Oh, being we were oh six, three up by LG, three up by Thieves. We oh. didn't even do anything. Oh, we got damn. thrashed. No, I don't even think the maps were close. No bullshit. It's crazy because that, I mean, well, like, you know, it's, it's like not crazy, but at the time it felt crazy because like you look at that roster, like in the beginning of the year, they should win everything. But in retrospect, Mm -hmm. you look back and you're like, some of these guys were kind of at the end of their careers. You know what I mean? So, and you were dealing with a lot of like community backlash during this time. Like people were, people were like, Brandon's the, like, what's this guy doing? This and that. Um, and obviously during the time that's hard to deal with how did you go through that like the green wall like you went from complexity to the green wall and you won the first event so love was maximum and then y'all started to lose and they were coming for your head i remember yeah how you deal with that it's it's crazy because when you're on complexity you lose a tournament it's like no one even knows you know what i'm saying on twitter and it's like like, yo you got those new jordans i'll be like damn that's good i just lost 3-0 like 30 minutes ago no one even knows you didn't even peep it huh you didn't even look look, it looks actually though holy shit we got smoked (laughs) (laughs) but i think it's different because obviously the first tournament um I mean, the first two, three months I was on the team, that was just like, the viewership's insane. Yeah. Um, people are going to your stream just gassing you. I mean, we won the first mm-hmm. tournament. Um, there's just nothing but gas, literally. It's like the only thing you could see. And then obviously once you start going through um, some turmoil, like especially as a team, that's when you start seeing like, damn, is this the fan? Like, yeah, I see what you guys are talking about because I remember Krem's like, yo, listen, bro, don't open your mentions after a tourney if we lose. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, bro, this guy's tweaking. And they're like, yeah. yeah, we're good, bro. But then like literally the first tourney, it's like, dude, drop this guy. I'm like, we just won last tournament. I'm like, I know you. Yeah. I think our four with, we got like 12th or 8th or some shit like that. Or top yeah. eight. That was top eight, top eight. And then um, we were just getting cooked because I'm like thinking, oh, no, nah, the fans are going to get it. Like, it happens. We're going to win every tourney. It's six for six. That's just delusional. And then they were like, nah, what the fuck? We could prosper to you. <laughs> like yo, what the fuck yeah, like yo, we kind of locked in, bro. These guys, too, these guys expect greatness. So, but, but I'm like, so used to it now, but I know you're used to it now. But I'm trying to unpack it a bit because I, I can't even comprehend what it must be like. Because whenever my Twitter's going rogue, or whatever, I try to ignore it. But obviously, it's ten times more for you. So, like, on a real note, like when you get off and you see all that, I, do you look at it? And if you do look at it, does it not phase you at all? I mean, like, it's like you can't really control what people are going to say. I mean, it's it's kind of like, I mean, this is kind of like a, a default answer, but I can't really, I don't know. I, I just really don't care what people say, like, in, in shorter terms, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get what you're people saying. People gas me, people don't gas me. Like, it's just, I know people don't really see or know the real answers to, like, half the situations. I'm like, these guys are just cool. You know what I mean? They're just, like, hopping in on their burner or some shit like KD and just, yeah, <laughs> but it's but it's a totally different experience when you scroll through the bluebird and you're sitting there getting good like, gas compared to bad gas because like yeah. good gas you'll be sitting there and you read line for line bad mm-hmm. gas you're reading be like what the f- is this guy this guy's faded you know, no shit. like yeah. you know what I'm saying and like with the green wall behind you that's the most intense it could possibly get bro and with you being like still a young player like it's crazy how you had to have handled that and at least what it looks like now you have overcome that so it's it's cool to see well what yeah, your I mean, answer. I was just gonna say bad. what your answer like kind of gave me was just like pure confidence like because yeah. even mm-hmm. even in the replies like you said like i just read i'm like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about which yeah, is no, it's like i don't try to prove anybody right especially because it's like bro like you don't do this every day you know what i'm saying you don't see anything so it's like whatever yeah. like and plus like even now like because before i would like like see like bat or like whatever let's say if we lost attorney I'd be, i'm not going on twitter or whatever but like now it's like even when i see good gas i don't like i don't think or i don't think either or is like uh 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just take the good gas and not take the bad. I just don't even, uh -huh. I'm like, kind of even with it. I'm like, whatever. It's like, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's a really good mentality, especially for somebody mm -hmm. in, in your situation. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Uh, one last thing about, like, that team you had, obviously, uh, with the GOATs first time in Optic. Um, what is, like, the biggest what-if moment you feel like you had with that team? Um, Damn. Could have been a tournament or... Or maybe even, team, right? yeah, or maybe even just mm. like surreal moment, like like it, what was a special moment with that team? Ooh, um, a special one. I mean, just teaming with them, just especially the first time um, I met them in person, because I don't think we ever met or at least spoke to each other um, in person, especially at Vegas. I don't know. We had a pre-line before that, but just sitting down next to them and then seeing. I mean, who were my teammates? You know what I mean? It's the dynasty. I'm looking at Krem6. I'm looking at Karma. I'm looking at Skump. TP's my coach. I mean, obviously, me oh, yeah. talking about teaming. Mm -hmm. So at first, it's just like, I don't know. It's kind of just, you're kind of just going, you're just like living in the moment. I'm just kind of going through it. But when I think back at it, I still remember there was a day I'm like, damn, what the hell? Like, I'm actually teaming with, like, it's, it doesn't feel real. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, you didn't want to, I don't want to like overthink and you know what I'm saying? And just like let it, you know, affect me in any way. So you just kind of just lock in and kind of just. Not think about it too much, but I don't know. At, at first, it was different, especially team with like, like David was the one dude I was like, damn, yo, he is, yo, that's the fucking goat. That's you know three what I'm time, bro. <laughs> that's the three time. Because he, he didn't talk about it. Yeah, nah, but he's, he's the original three time. You know what I mean? The so original. He'd be three. So like, <laughs> would I don't you? Know, I, he wouldn't talk often, but when he did, he was, you would say some like, you'd listen. Some yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So why did you have him run, uh, what was it? What was it uh, grapple? Said, grapple hook? Wait, yeah. he ran grapple. Why did you guys put him on grapple? <laughs> cause nah, cause you know how Damon is. The, a lot of people know this about Damon, but at the beginning of games, the first month, he's like the best player in the game. Yeah, he's he the finds best. out everything, every nerdy thing. Like the grapple was new to COD, so everyone's like, "Dude, how do you even play this?" But Damon took pride and like, "Bet, watch this shit." I like, I'll, I'll like master it, and he did. Like, you know, no bullshit. Like he was like on Seaside, he'd go outer, like like Spider Man. I'm like, damn, bro, he is montaging right now. Yeah. But then after once people started picking up and like, you know, the the good grapple players got better and better and better. Yeah. Um, it kind of hurt us. Cause he's kind of, he's kind of like a Maddox, like and he wanted to run like an, an ICR type of role. So then, um, obviously you want one of your SOGs running a grapple, ideally, just cause it doesn't take off like the points. And then they could also like, you know, what I'm saying, uh, that, yeah. yeah, that's why United and yeah, that's why United was fine. So, cause that simp and a on that shit, but so Brandon, so there's been all these rumors, obviously of like Damon wants to coach Damon wants to coach and like how you guys have such great chemistry. Uh, obviously, we don't need any intel or anything, but I want to mm. know: Would you enjoy having Damon as your coach? Like, I feel 100%. like you guys have great chemistry. Like, where? How do you think he would help you guys? And just talk me through that a little bit. Obviously, it's been a talking point. I would love to have Damon as a coach. I mean, I think all of us would too. But I think Damon wants to coach us when he's hammered, because every single time he <laughs> gets two or three drinks in, he's like, "Dude, Bruce, I can help you with control, man." And then I'm like, "Damn, you have Damon, I'm down." And then the next day, it's like he's a ghost, bro. He's like, "Nah, fuck that shit." He's like, "I ain't waking up for this." He's shit. on rust. <laughs> I'm waking yeah, up playing rust for sure. <laughs> nah, but I would love David for sure. I mean, definitely the key, because he's just like he'll just keep it real. He'll be like, "Yo, listen, like you guys are trolling here, or you guys are doing this good here." Like he wouldn't just be, um. Nitpicking, he'd keep it honest, you know what I mean? If something's working, yeah. if something's just, you know, if something's just like a bad timing situation or if it's like a, you know, a one off, then he'll say that. But like the bigger picture of things, he could definitely help us out with. Um, because he's almost like a fan, also, he wants the best for us. So you also would be like, oh, yeah. yo, listen, like, me, like, this is the one thing we got to work on. So, um, I would love him, but that's up to Damon for sure. Um, when it comes to like, uh, Damon as a coach, it sounds like you would love having somebody who, you know, is watching and stuff like that, but maybe not always after map or after series saying something just like when they notice something that uh is like glaring or bigger picture type deal so that that leads me to the question of like what would you want out of a, a coach like ideal situation uh do you think it's like needed on a team or is it something that you feel like you just you don't exactly need like you can figure out yourself um i don't know i'm kind of like on and on or on and off with a coach i mean i I wouldn't mind having a coach. I mean, the past mm -hmm. coaches I've had, Jay, uh, Deep, Rick. Was it Rick ever? I don't even remember. Maybe Rick for a little bit, but actually, yeah. no, no, no. That, that might have been Cap, but. No, no. Yeah, Rick was, I don't <laughs> think Rick was a coach. <laughs> it was Pac-Man. That was one of them. Pac-Man. <laughs> that was so gross. Well, you've had he'd so be, many coaches. <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd, be like, he'd be like, Cap, you're faded. He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but like all the coaches I've had, like I had no, like no issues with them. But it's kind of just one of those things where I don't think it's really needed. I mean, JP, sure. what he does for our team, 
is phenomenal. I think what he does is, I think he'll still tell us, like, situational, like, you guys are trolling here, you guys need to, like, yeah. you know, work on this right here, but then he kind of just, like, helps us out with, you know, with analytics. So we'll just be like, yo, listen, like, 80% of the time, like, we get broken here. 50% of the time, we're, like, our, we're only holding this. So it's kind of just like, a, okay, we got to work on this. This, like, just the math just says it, you know what I mean? Like, the numbers say it. Yeah. And you can't yeah. really argue that. But with the coach, it's kind of, unless they're playing the game every day and then they're updated with, you know, what's meta, what's, what are, like, the good updated strats, you know, just, like, the default um like things about like cod like you know how because every every week it's changing I don't and know every year it's a new game yeah yeah uh -huh. literally. new and stuff we gotta learn yeah. and there's like i don't know so i feel like it's it depends on the coach and but i don't really think it's needed cod because i feel like cod is such an in the moment decision making game like it's so situational like you can get into play a thousand different times in a certain situation and they could play out a thousand different ways you know what i mean like oh, yeah. you one shot here i don't know like there's just so many like different things i can think about but well, a, co a coach can mean different things too, right? So, like, technically, yeah, like yeah. JP is is like your coach, right? It's just a different yeah, process, yeah, yeah. I guess. Go ahead, Jay. There's, like, two different ways, like, to view a coaching thing. And sometimes it works for certain players. Sometimes it doesn't. Like, when I was playing, obviously, I had Rambo Ray right next to me, which was your former coach. He's a great mind in Call of Duty. And he was just able to sharpen my gameplay with, like, stuff that he wanted to do. But now, in a different situation where other coaches, like you said, if you're not really playing the game, you don't really know all the situations. And then for a team like your team, where, like, you have, like, the Movement King and Shotzi, you always nerds, have Hoop yeah. moving around. You guys, you guys have yeah. so many different plays that, like, all these situations can play out completely different every single time. So it's not in the situation where the coaches are going to know the best play, it's usually the players that know the best play because they're playing the game. They're in the moment, you know? So yeah. it's good to see that you guys, uh, obviously all, everything that happened with you guys and your coaching staff that you guys have completely let that go. You've made, incredible incredible improvement yeah. your team improvement yeah, was, like with your roster bro and like you're one of the best hard point teams in the game if not the best so continue working yeah, yeah. And it's not even one of those things where because like the, i know this thing was like oh they just want to run around and just get kills and just like not have rules and just like basically have fun but it's like bro like of course like of course we want to have like you know what i'm saying like a system and like what we like to do and how we like to approach things just so it's consistent mm -hmm. but we're not like restricted because before it felt like we were just restricted like yo like do this or we, like you have to do this you know what i mean this is a mistake otherwise if you don't so it's kind of yeah. one of those things where not you're not second guessing but you're like damn like if i do any other play it's just gonna be like a yo like watch this you know what i'm saying i'm like bro this is pointless you know what i mean like it's like almost like you're not allowed to make mistakes when i don't believe in that i feel like in scrims you should be able to you know, test limits, you know, try things, you know, like try a setup, try a different, you know, like you want to push this, go for it. You want to see this hold if it works, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't be like confined to like a box almost. It felt like we were just like almost on the leash when we were playing and we couldn't yeah. like, just get creative. And I feel like that's just how the best players and the, the best teams just like get better, honestly. I mean, yeah, situationally like, making plays, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want, yeah, just, I didn't want to, like obviously, like again, like it's not about like, oh, we just want to run around. I feel like that's just like, I don't know, a little fugaze, but. Whatever. No, I mean, I mean, it's clearly showing in, in the results like that. You guys yeah. are, are are next level. Um, for you, Brandon, is this the first time that you felt like you're kind of like free, like where because you've always, like you just said, and you just listen off all the coaches you've had and stuff like that, and different teams. This is the first time you felt sort of like um, free on the map to be creative, to be like, hey, man, maybe we should try to do this, guys, and like people actually giving it their best effort. Um, nah, like I feel like I've always had that mindset, like, okay. especially for the majority of my career, but. Um, recently, probably, yeah, I'd say out of that, but. Okay. Majority of my career now. It's been usually kind of how it is now. I kind of just run, or just play my game, and then from that point on, like, we could just, we kind of all, all play our own games, and then obviously we know what, like, we want to do as a team, and then we yeah. kind of just pinpoint out little things that we could do and help each other, but we don't step on. Because at the end of the day, like, if you tell someone how to play, they're going to play worse, bro. Like, it's just what yeah. it is. Like, even if you think yeah. it's the better play or whatever it is. Yeah, there's just if they're not comfortable they're getting fried bro you know how it is in cod if you're like a little bit like off in confidence and somebody else is full confident they're just gonna like feel like they're just gonna smoke your shit you're gonna run you over go ahead jay you got something yeah so, yeah, so brandon you've been uh a superstar in this league like for a really really long time now and that usually when you have that superstar title to your name it comes with championships you won your first one with your optic roster and then it took a couple years for you to get back on top what was that like that whole process of just consistently losing, but wanting to get back and like having to go through that when you are such an unbelievable player that you believe in your mind, you should be winning. How were you able to deal with such tough, tough and getting better in the middle of it and then getting better and then eventually rising back on top? Dude, I don't know. It's still hard now because 
obviously I want to win every tournament. I mean, we got second at the past two, and it, it definitely tough. sucks. But yeah, but like I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where it, it comes with competing. You know, what I mean, there's highs and lows, and definitely had my share of lows, like a lot more than I wanted. But um, I mean, just to finally win again after I don't know, it was like three years of just grinding, wanting to win. You know, what I'm saying just. Mm consistently innovating me developing as a player um trying to do whatever i can to be a better teammate every day um it meant a lot i mean i'm still trying to like i'm not even close to being um the perfect teammate or the teammate i want to be so it's still like a lot of things i'm working on daily but um it's a process and honestly i just have fun with it every day it's just what it is like it, i kind of enjoy what i do so it's easy to um make the improvements in the areas i know i have to so I just, what do you think like, are what do you think are the areas from like in the beginning of your gameplay to now that you have improved drastically and then from now to the future the things that you were working on to be that better teammate? Yeah. Um I think at the beginning of my career I was just so used to just having to do it all. I mean, it, 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 like I don't want to sound like cocky or anything, but it just felt like if I didn't like do a lot if I didn't get like a two or three piece for example on like a, a hard point hill, I was like, "Bro, like we're getting broken on this." So if I just went one yeah, point, yeah, Ricky Especially with Ricky and Sensei, you had yeah, to get all yeah, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so then I felt like maybe, and then I guess from that point on, um, there's some habits maybe I had to break, I guess, in game of just like, okay, I don't have to do too much on the map. I can trust, like, now I got Seth or I got Damon, I got mm -hmm. or Ian or T, you know what I mean? But um, but then also, like, like the outer, like, um, just like the teammate overall, like, just like it's out of game, like the, just not being, like, I, don't, I wasn't selfish before, but I was definitely... I definitely thought, like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to sound, I don't know, this sounds like so, like... No, nah, I mean, be honest, like, yeah, and, and yeah, I can time, translate like, it to the I, viewer. But, but, but mm -hmm. at the time, like, it, it felt like I had to get, like, a piece. You know, I was just so used to, like, if I didn't do something, for example, we are going to lose, you know what I'm saying? But I had to break mm -hmm. out of that, like, mindset. But I felt A like lot of players have felt like that before. Like, yeah. when they're on the struggling team, and they're like, I have to fry. Mm -hmm. If I don't fry, we're screwed. And that creates bad mm -hmm. tendencies, which is why I'm mm -hmm. so impressed that you fixed that. Because I have on here, I'm like... There's, it's been far and few in between plays that we've seen from you and we're just like, we have to question it. We, there's like none. Mm -hmm. Like you play the game at such a high level and it's like discipline too. Like you're on rotations, you're where you need to be. It's like you are an S tier player in Gunny, but also Fundy. Now, where did that come mm -hmm. from? Because I remember watching you, you used to go rogue. Like you used to try to pop the three pieces every time. Like you'd be in the mix. Like where did that yeah. come from? I mean, I just obviously teaming with like such great players. I just understanding over time that I don't have to do too much. I'm playing with Shotzi, you know what I mean? Tyler and and Dan's even nasty at this, and which is and people are like, oh, like he's just like a like people just look at numbers, but like well, we know we know what Dan does for our team, and he's probably the best fit that we could literally ask for. So um, it's just like understanding that um, my teammates are gross. Like Kyler and Ann are literally just. Uh, they're pushing Pete, bro. Like, they're in their swarm. Like, they're getting too, bro. Like, <laughs> and then I'm like, I, all I got to do is row just one by one on one. I could trust them to do whatever um, it is to win maps. And then um, also, it's like, it's just trusting our practice, too. Because if it were, we weren't frying in practice, then the results wouldn't be happening in matches, too. So, yeah. Um, it's just trusting my teammates and um, just trusting the work also as well. So that leads us to the next part. We wanted to talk a little bit about, like, now, like the team in the current state. You guys are in pretty good spot. Oh, no, uh, no, and no, then no. Jay Before wants we to. Get there. Okay, okay. Before we get there, before we get to the now, bro, this is a very juicy question that I wanted to ask you, bro. Just want to see your thoughts at, bro. So, obviously, in the beginning of the year, you're obviously teaming alongside Scum. You know him. He's one of your best friends, one of your favorite teammates of all time. Absolutely. And then he gives you the word that he's retiring. Yeah. Like, were you worried during that situation? How did you handle that situation? Because that's one of the guys that you probably looked up to back in the day. You were still mind blown. You were teaming with this guy. Like, what was that whole experience like for you when you got the word? Dude, it's still crazy, like, even thinking about it, but because, I mean, Seth is, at least like, he has to be my favorite team. You know what I mean? Like, he played with him for four years. Um, mm. He's nasty. He's vibey. He's just, I look forward to, to, like, seeing him, to teaming with him. It was just, like, a, it was an experience for sure. But I don't know. Even because when I first got benched, he was still playing. And then I remember mm. just watching, and then they won their first league match. And then literally two hours later, Hector calls me and I'm like, what the hell? Like, like at first I was thinking, oh, like I probably Loki just got traded or you know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. or at least I'm like, damn, this is Loki on AIDS. But then he was like, hey yo, he's like, you're back in. Seth is retiring, and I was like, what the fuck? And then at first I still remember it was like it was like nine o'clock at night, and I was just thinking about it. It was it was weird because I was excited to come back, but it was it was it felt weird like at the yeah. expense of Seth retiring. You know what I mean? It's scump. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, I'm like yo, I mean I was obviously down, but then 
I don't know. It was weird at first, but I kind of just had to like lock in also because I was gone for a month or whatever it was. And then we and I literally had to play in like four days, and I, I don't know. It was just like super fast, and then everything was just happening, and then um, just everything, like just the announcement, seeing everyone's reaction, seeing his tweet, seeing his video, um, it definitely hit. And then I don't know. It was it was weird though. It was like bittersweet, definitely coming back. So I was thinking like, damn, what the hell, bro? This guy just retired. Like I like I was down to come back with Seth. You know what I mean? But it was just yeah. a situation. I don't know. Did you feel more pressure like on you now with him retiring, you jumping back into the lineup? Like I'm that guy now. Now with this, with me back on the team, I have to make this happen. Did you feel like a little bit extra pressure on your back, especially with the green wall the way that it is? Because it seemed like you turned up when you came back. Yeah, like, you really did. I mean, yeah. Like I had in the video, he was like, "Dude, like you better be on your show." I'm like, "Damn!" Like, if I don't, <laughs> like I'm, just, oh, no. I'm just playing Val, and I'm just, like, yeah, like we're getting points. I'm getting points. I'm getting I'm like, "No, nah, I can't do that." So I was like, "Yeah." Um. So I had to lock in, but I mean, I already had the intention of when I came back to like to be like a demon, I guess you could say. But it definitely helped. That so, stuff, uh motivated me like a little more for sure. The extra push. So, I mean, like from an outside perspective, looking at it, it's like, okay, Seth goes out, you come in and there's a ton of pressure. Like, damn, dash has got a lot on his shoulders. And then, mm -hmm. you know, the rumors comes in. It's like, you went out and you were the guy who was a big proponent of getting ghosty. Um, and then mm -hmm. you guys are having a ton of success. So from the outside looking, it's like, bro, Dashy really figured his shit out, got it together. Mm -hmm. And he's frying on top of that. He's making good roster moves because there was so much that happened. I mean, the coaching thing, the uh, Illy being uh, sent to the bench for Ghosty, Scump retiring, you getting benched and put back in. And I'm just sitting there, I'm looking, I'm like, Dashie's made some unbelievable moves. And I feel like a lot of people haven't talked about it that much. So I wanted to ask you from your perspective, like, how did all, all this go down? Like the Ghosty thing. And you, you go and you grab him. What did you see in him? Uh, obviously, myself and a lot of people were like, I don't know if this is going to be the right move, but it's panned out beautifully. So what did you see in him that made you you decide like, all right, at least time is done. It goes, is going to come and we're going to get better. Yeah. So I still remember it was after major two, um, our team already talked about kind of making, um, a change for Ender. And then we just had to figure out because Ender is a really hard player, um, to replace. I mean, what he brings to a team is, um, you can't like quantify it. You can't, you can't like, you can't replace it with just pure stats yeah, or because mm -hmm. what he brings to a team is, uh, I don't know. He just brings everyone together, make sure everyone's on their shit, and he's also clutch as hell. So, um, yeah. Ender is super like, it, like just to find a replacement for him was hard. But I just remember um, talking to Haggy, and I was just like, "Yo, we need someone that's you know like just a list of like whatever Ender brought, like an IGL, but um, also good with respawn that could teach us a little bit." But because Ant wanted to kind of just not run around, but he he was kind of doing the IGL before, and it was kind of like hindering his. Slang ability. So he wanted to lock like, in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously with Dan and I, I kind of found out I was watching his VODs for like two, three hours. And then I was like, this is exactly what we need. Someone that's just playing the game correctly, that's consistent. Um, it's going to go hard every day. And um, yeah, just going to make us nasty. And then just like, there's just a hunger also of like picking up a challenger's player. It was kind of like, a, I guess it was a risk, but I don't, the way I was looking at it was he fits in perfectly with what like the vision I had with like our team, just like the way we play the game and, and respawn, I'm like, this is Loki kind of, if it works out, it's perfect. And then I'm glad that the kid is taking advantage of the opportunity because he deserves it. He's he's nasty. And then I didn't even know he had receipts. He was just saying, she's like, dude, Brandon, I was shitting on you. And I was like, IW. <laughs> it, was like, yeah. it, was like, it was ghosty. I'm like, I don't remember a ghosty, bro. But then he was like, no, trust, bro. Then it pulled up like a picture from an IW2B2. I'm like, yeah. He hey, hey, got that. That's he's amazing. Like, was, he's like, formal was final, though. I'm like, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. no, that's crazy. That's crazy to think about because, like, a player like Ghosty, like Ant said, we all gave him a little bit of slack because we just weren't expecting a challenger player to end up on Optic. But you guys yeah. obviously made the right decision. And I think one piece that he really brings to your team that took you guys to a whole different level is just the communication level. Like, yeah. what he's able to do for you guys in the comms like lando calls it all the time he's like the human radar or something like that or in-game radar he's yeah. consistently talking so like sometimes when you find yourself in that zone like i've played with you when you're in that zone you're just strictly slaying out yeah and like you're I'm allowing calling, yeah. exactly you're just allowing him to lead the way or at least lead the comms you still know everything that's going on but you're more focused on yourself so then for all three of you guys on your roster because whenever you guys are able to be the individual players that you are like Shotzi he's able to move around Hook he wins some insane gunfights and you don't miss bullets so when you guys are all able to focus on your individual play and then add a player who can take all you guys to the different level I think that's what you guys did here and it's been looking good so damn far like it's been looking great 
Yeah, no, I still remember, because I remember watching his VOD, but I'm like, I don't know if the VODs are enough, you know what I mean? But then I remember watching an A-series, because I remember Florida wanted to pick him up, and then he was, he played even a, a scrim with them, I guess it was like a trial or whatever. But then I remember watching him play A-series, and he was just like motor, he's a Tyler Fellow Jr., you know what I mean? Motor yeah, bro. motor mouth, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's saying everything, and I'm like, yo, this is exactly what we need, you know what I mean? Just somebody that just, consistently for every single hell, there's like a bigger picture on how to play the game, but he's not... You know what I'm saying? Like, telling us what to do, but he's saying, like, what should be done. I don't know how to describe it, but it was, like, perfect there for exactly what we needed. And then it was, it was obviously a chance, but... Um, and also, we didn't have... Like, it wasn't one of those things where we could have got, like, a pro. We can't get, just get, like, Sal or some shit. Like, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. The, the pros, it's, it's kind of also, like, a... He was, like, the best possible Challengers player, I think, right? I mean, he had to be. Who, who he was? was who, who, Ghosty? Ghosty, yeah. Yeah, he I mean, he was fine at that so. point. The rest of them had gotten grabbed. Um, mm -hmm. Yo, you know, asking you that question and just kind of like hearing it all in a row, like the the things that transpired. Hey, I tip my hat, brother. You were moving kind of yeah. nice. You were moving, you were moving kind of <laughs> nice. I mean, thing, he bro. went from the bench yeah. to a whole new yeah. roster with two different players to back to back seconds, and now, I mean, a yeah. different team has won every event. You guys mm -hmm. are poised now. Like, you might as well save it for champs at this point. So talking about that, like how you guys have been playing second back to back, you clearly know what the issues are. It's matchup things, right? Uh, mm -hmm. From my perspective, it looks like it's like versus Steve's. You got struggling the control a little bit. So talk to me about like uh, what you're focusing on in that game mode, and specifically versus like the thieves, because it seems like versus everybody else, you guys have the clear edge already. Yeah, um, against thieves, it's just on like the fifty fifty maps because our better maps that like that we beat them on, like we're better than them on like. Like for example, like Fortress Hotel, they 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 understand that, and they're better than us at like Embassy and probably Zarqua now. You know what I mean? So it's kind of sure. just one of those things to just working on like the or Mercado or the, what did I say? I said Embassy and Zarqua. and, and Zarqua, yeah, because they're like eight no on on Hydro oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hydro, y'all yeah, are better than them on, on Mercado Hardpoint for sure. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things where um just those meta maps that we got to improve on. Um, obviously our control is it's still it got better, but it's not where it needs to be, especially with the best of seven format. I mean, it matters so much. Yeah, it does. And, uh, our S and Ds are it's pretty solid, but obviously we didn't come from uh, we didn't come from winners, so we didn't play like our better S and Ds because we couldn't just pick the maps. Yeah, and we, yeah. Got, we just got to make sure that we're better at the just the two, three, five, uh, the game modes, and um, obviously not try to fall off in our HP thinking too much, like or trying to improve too much on the other things. But I think our S and D is especially in practice and just all of us just individually grinding it. It definitely helps. Because um, it's one of those things where like you could be grind, like playing it as in scrims, but it doesn't play out the same in scrims. You got to play like you know, eights or tournaments or like wagers or whatever, just to get like people that are just wanting to win, just just to see how it plays out. And because you got to play against, because when you play it in a tournament, it, people are just going hard. They're like camping, you know what I'm saying? It's but way different, scrims, yeah. They're running it down. So it's just like, yeah. not even like, so you can't like use that too much as uh, as like, oh yeah, we're getting like S and D roast when it really isn't like the same. I love, dude, you're so, so, you're so honest about that. You know, most people are like, yeah, yeah I've been man. grinding S and D. It's like, oh, for it's you, it, just, it, it's way different. I'm a search mm -hmm. kid, so I could see like if someone's like, "Bro, this guy's not trying at all." And then you put put a hundred, that got the same guy's camping spawn for thirty seconds, like extra. You know, you know, 40, <laughs> I'm like, "Bro, like, there's twenty seconds left before before he's take take." I'm like, "Bro, like, yeah." <laughs> no, it's just it's just not the same. I mean, yeah. Uh, so, go ahead, Jay. Good. So so for you guys now going into stage five, you guys are already locked up for champs. Like, what's your guys? I guess sort of like game plan going throughout this stage. Are you guys gonna play a lot of maps that you usually don't play? Try to expand your map pool. I know that Expo, you guys only played it four times, but if you guys are able to add that, that means you're gonna be pretty good at all three. So like versus these teams, since you're already in and you're gonna be playing some tough competition, you have some good matches throughout this stage. But like, what is your guys' main focus? Is like expanding map pool, being the best team that we could possibly be in every single mode in every single map by the time we get the champs. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we want to improve on uh, like Expo, especially because our hotel is pretty nasty, but. I think mm -hmm. everyone vetoes it against us, so mm -hmm. um, it's definitely working on Expo or Silo, but I feel like our Expo is really good. It's just that when we played it against Thieves, I think Thieves are the only team that beat us on it because we played it four times and lost twice to it. We beat him once on it, but that was... Yeah, we beat him once on it. That was just the winner's finals, mm -hmm. but we lost the other three, but... Um, I don't know. Control is just one of those things where like, they're just a really good control team, so it's not mm -hmm. going to be consistent. We're not going to consistently beat them in. If we were to play 10 controls, like, like 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10, it's one of those things where... Um, Usually we're going to split, and we just can't let them get, like, the two in the grand finals, for example. Like, we got to split that or, I don't know, find, like, an answer or that, you know what I'm saying? Or just maybe not lose, like, the winner's final so we have a veto advantage. Like, there's, there's so many, like, things that we could, uh, like, improve on. Like, yeah. I guess, in, like, the head-to-head like the, the -head matchup against them, but 
it's one of those things where like when we because we improved on it but we just can't lose two of them There's... Mm-hmm. yeah absolutely and, and, and my and obviously, we've all been pro players here. And I think one thing when you reach to that high level, when you're going into these championship matchups, the biggest thing that usually tends to hurt you is an auto veto. And with you guys being yeah. the best hardpoint team in the game, the fact that you guys auto veto is embassy hardpoint, is that a major focus for you guys throughout this oh, stage? We're because at this if, you stage start, yeah. if you start throwing that throughout, the, like people don't know what to play. No, we're playing at this stage. Are you playing embassy? Sure. Finally, yeah. bro. Yeah. Why are, not- you guys should be disgusting at that map, bro. Oh, for real. No, we should be. Brandon, the thing you is, get to spawn and go top PD every life. A top AC, oh, man. It's, it's, it's my favorite energy. map. It's my favorite map for sure. But like, it's one of those things where we would have played it because we're good at it in scrims. Even the last stage, the past two stages, we're winning it consistently in, ma- in practice. It's not like it's not we're not like eighty percent or ninety percent like we are on some other maps, but we're winning like 70, 75, Like even sometimes, like there's some weeks where we'll probably lose it once. You know what I'm saying? But it's one of those things where, we're, like, what are we gonna play with? You know what I'm saying? Like our hotel, we're we're nasty at hotel. We want Mercado, to play Mercado on Fortress. Yep. Yeah. Our Fortress is obviously like, you know, like people just veto it. And then, so yeah. then it's between Zark and that. And then our Zark in scrims is, is our, like, between all the five maps, it's our best map. So it didn't make sense to, like, play Embassy. But now, obviously, but knowing that Thieves is whatever, kind of just running the water and shit, like, it's basically called, like, I don't even know. It's they weird because swimming, they, they, got swimming. they got the perfect they, stroke, bro. Well, Thieves is comfortable. Stroke and shit. <laughs> Thieves is comfortable playing Fortress Hardpoint, but they're they're not comfortable playing Embassy. I don't think so. so they usually no, they, get... they like Embassy, right? I think they like Embassy. No, they yeah. they they veto Embassy. I'm pretty sure. The, the thieves veto embassy. They have nah. The, they like they like Embassy Hardpoint. I they think they like leave it in. It's one of those where it's like yeah, they're cool yeah, playing it, but they they're not picking it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But with us, it was one of those things where we wanted to play Zark against them, but um, it's not even like they were that much, like, because they're definitely nasty at Zark, but against us in the head-to-head, I mean, they just clutched up. They beat us by, like, five points and then 50 mm-hmm. points, but it was just, like, small mistakes that even now, like, it was kind of a good thing that we lost to them, I guess, in a bigger picture, because they taught us, like, for example, like, on some of our holes, like, yo, we got to make sure we're not trolling here, or mm-hmm. we got to rotate to this, or we got to not, like, throw our lives here, but it was, like, little things that... Um, definitely helped us even today because we, we were playing it today and we were definitely making a, a lot of like the improvements that we were or, like messing up on at the tournament so but mm. obviously it just sucks to learn it like in winter finals and grand finals and shit but i guess now that i guess with embassy it, it, i do agree with you guys in like the aspect of like bro we should be nasty at embassy it's like the the ar fortress you know what i'm saying so you can kind of yeah. just like run around and like but yeah i'm looking at, the, at this stage. i'm looking at the thief stuff right here they're 10 and 10 on hotel and they're seven and four on embassy so it's like they're, they're like third or fourth best map but they don't they were vetoing it up until stage three. They started to play three. a little bit. Sorry, yeah, stage three, they started to play a little yeah. bit, but they, they have been pretty decent on it as of late. So yeah, that could be something that helps you guys a lot going up against mm-hmm. uh, a team like them. Um, but for you guys, for you, who do you feel like is like your biggest comp going forward? Because obviously Thieves, you think Toronto's still like a, a yeah. matchup wise, a tough matchup for you guys? I think Toronto's always going to be a threat. Um, I don't know. I guess with them, it was... I guess they kind of just caught us off guard in uh, Major 3. It was Major 3, but I don't know. Yeah. Toronto's always going to be a nasty team. It's just this game's super, like, series to series. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like I guess Toronto. It is, yeah. Like, I guess that, uh, like, finals, they just got the better of us for the, the two hours they were playing. Um, Thieves is always going to be a threat. FaZe, you can never count them out, no matter how they're looking. Um, I mean, Simp Easy Cell, it's just like... Wait, huh? They could spawn in any day and, like... Pause just there, ride. though. Pause there, though. You say that, but you have absolutely fried Atlanta absolutely. phase for, like, yeah. two years now, brother. And, like, I'm not baiting trash talk or nothing. I just want to actually, like, get into your head a little bit about this. Like, how, why versus you guys do you feel like they fold? Like, or what gives you such an edge over them? Because, first of all, you are, mm-hmm. you're dropping numbers. Like, you're yep. serious. You always drop numbers, but you drop numbers up against <laughs> that team. Why, yeah. brother? I'd simply why. Yeah. Um, I think it's our uh, more our teamwork than than anything. I don't want to just make it seem like the like oh like I'm like one before you. You know what I'm saying? Because like those guys, like you need a team to to be phased for sure. But yeah. I think it's just one of those things where where we have reps just playing them even when they were when we were all under eighteen playing SD tournaments and like Bo3 IW and then we just kind of just have a yeah, good under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just there's just so much. I don't know. It feels like it goes more like way back more than just like when we first came in the league. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I feel, me and Cell, like, we were, like, playing with each other when we were, like, 16, 17. Like, we were kind of, like, an original duo. So it's kind of just one of those things where we know each other really well. That's um, a scary duo. <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's MC, yo. Like, yeah, that, yo, that's, like, he's different. But, but, yeah, it was one of those things where 
I feel like we know each other really well, and there's just like uh, both teams are just like look forward to playing each other. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like to be honest, I don't want to like flame them because they're they're still got like you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, they're nah, still they are. They are different, bro. But like historically, so far <laughs> in the season, they haven't been able to beat y'all. You're six yeah. and one in the, versus them in hard point. You're four and zero versus control. The S and D is the only thing you have negative versus a team. Like and when you look, at, like you know when you talk about Atlanta phase, they're some of the best players to ever play the game. So you always have to be on point. And for some reason, every single time you guys have played them, you guys have made it look easy. Like. I know you said it's the chemistry that you guys have, the tendencies you guys know because you guys were playing against each other for so long. But, like, this wasn't always the case for you guys. It wasn't always like this between you and Atlanta Faze. It was Atlanta yeah. Faze a couple years ago and, that were always getting your yeah. guys' number. So now it's a complete switcheroo. So it's obviously got to feel good. But to beat the team like that, you, knowing personnel, like, every time you go into that matchup, what's your mindset, bro? It's, cr like, it's crazy. because What's your mindset? Because even now, like playing them, it's, it's just like our comms are different, like our energy is different. Like it's like we just get, it's just like a like a fire, you know what I'm saying? Because you brings the them. best, yeah, 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 hundred percent. Like especially those guys, I feel like it's a compliment to them. Like, you have to bring your A game when you're playing Cell yes. or BZ. Sim. You know what I'm saying? Those yeah. guys are no matter who, are, or no matter how they're looking or the game it is, you know the situation. Like you just have to like play your best, or they're honestly gonna shit on you. Like I still remember the one time they beat us last year. I wasn't playing that good, and then Cell literally just took over, and I'm like, holy shit, bro. Like, I gotta make sure I'm locked against this guy. This guy's a fucking robot. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys Everest. play them yeah. this week. Yeah. Uh, good time. How are you feeling going into this one? Like, uh, super confident. Um, obviously, this is the weakest that they've looked, uh, but it's a big matchup for you guys, right? It's the last statement you get to make against a potential threat headed into, you know, the final championship at the end of the year. Uh, how are you feeling headed into that one versus Atlanta Face? I'm always excited. Uh, like, still confident, obviously, but uh, it's just one match online. I don't want to put too much weight into it, just because you know it is a league match. Because um, obviously, at the end of the day, it's the majors that matter. But obviously, mm -hmm. just for seeding, because I think we are pretty close to them in the standings. I think we're just twenty-five 20, points. 25 yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. like that's like three league matches. But obviously, we're gonna be like playing like other teams and whatever, like the different placings at stage five that are gonna like mess up or mess with them. But I don't know. We're definitely confident, but we're not looking at it like, oh, like we've beaten them a lot. Like in the past, like we're just going to like run through them. We're still going to play our game. We're not going to get overzealous. We're not going to, because you never know. You know what I'm saying? Because COD, you could just show up one day. You think that you're the best team or you could just like cheat like certain rotations or cheat certain gunfights and then you get three out. So, yeah. yeah. All right, Beth. Um, all right. So now let's get into like the more fun part of the show. Um, I want to ask you like some some things about the game, uh, the friendly fire segment where we do like an either or. Uh, so we're gonna get into that. Before we do that, Jake, can you pull your mic away like an inch? You were clipping okay. in the last part. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That's it. No more. No more. Yeah, just pull it back. Pull it back a little bit. No right. more. <laughs> no Got problem. Um, all right. All right, Brandon. Um, who is retired that you wish you got the team with? Ooh, like that never that I never got to compete against either or just like then it doesn't matter who it could be I it could be anybody probably not but like a guy that retired that you wish you had the opportunity to play with someone i never teamed with oh uh, damn i don't know bro probably like teep teep's a good, Ooh, a good, that's one. A good one. one yeah no teep oh. uh, teep's running in front of you bro he's planting your bombs that's for sure who yeah, you talking about pass you the slayer the, the pat the slayer and slayer, slayer. <laughs> slayer. <laughs> slayer. <laughs> yeah no I would have been like, nah, bro. Like, they like, keep talking about rotation. Like, we're trolling here, bro. Like, like, <laughs> just say some shit that's just like. All right, cool. Um, what about? Uh, obviously, you love your team. Y'all are in a good spot. But if there's one player in the league that you've never teamed with, who is your number one that you wish you you could team with? One player in the league right now. Ooh, probably MC. I mean, that's like an easy answer for me because I mean. Wow, it's my, it's my original duo. You know what I mean. And then I feel like even when we play each other, well, with each other today, like or even till this day, we could be playing with like in a tournament or rank play or whatever eight or the, it just feels like it flows like like uh it flows like how it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Like we're like yeah. we're, I don't know. It's like he goes to his spots like but like how, the way we complement each other, it feels like I don't know. It feels like natural, but probably MC yeah, definitely pro like like a chance with. My original. Be, Yo, please don't ever make that team. Girl. Please don't do that, bro. Please don't do that. Cause I'll tell you, it's all right now. We back. Relax. Right now, we, I love my team though. Right now, but yeah, 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 yeah. Not for hey, sure, yeah. bro. Yeah. 
I mean, that's like All a right. K, that's like a KD Warriors situation. Yeah, like, I'm not bro, trying. that's like Steph and KD. <laughs> five five. Nah, if I be five, five I'll, yo, I'll pick Steph. If I be five, like, yo, that's, that's unbelievable. That's um, unbelievable. All the want... shut down Doug Sensor. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, all right, and then we got we got one more before the friendly fire segment, uh, and it is who's your top five supreme gunny all time? Ooh, Anybody ooh, you all you, time. you played against? I, I need to know ooh, your top I five like supreme list. gunny. Let me hear this. Yeah, because there's some people that I'm like, damn, okay, I gotta bring my A game for sure. Obviously, yeah. you're up there, right? So so exclude yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put you say yeah, say yeah. you number one. So then let's yeah, go. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Formal number one clears anyone that's gonna I'm gonna put out after that, especially in this prime. Okay. Ooh, do I say just ARs or subs too? Because you could do subs. You could do anybody. I got this thing strapped. A BZ, he's got he's got a strap because he'll be trying to cross up and like I'll kill him be the one shot. Be like, damn! I'm like, that was a suck. I'm like, uh, BZ's got it. Kyler is up there for sure. Kyler and a BZ. Like the same gunny to me, you know what I mean? They're both yeah. challenging mid to cross map and just ripping ARs off headies. I'm like, damn, okay. Um, damn, Octane. Okay, Maru. he does have a beamer. He's got that one. Oh, one more, one more. Um, I want to say like an AR, but I can't really think of one. It could be somebody think... like from way back or somebody yeah, that's somebody new. Somebody like... you was watching on the, on your come up, like who were? Oh, who was the whoa, guy whoa. That you were yo, the... till this day, John. On, oh, Prime uh, John? Dude, yeah, Prime John was insane, oh. bro. It was Gibraltar. <laughs> I'll never forget this gunfight. It was on land. We were playing him side station. We were already like one and two. We had to win this. They were like three and oh. They were just like, like stat. We're, they were like patting stats against us, one of those series. And it was first map. They're up like 190 to 80. And I'm on the God Heady mid steps. And he was top cave with a sub. I'm like, what is this guy? You can know, I could see gamer tags. I just yeah, see John. Yeah. I'm like, this guy's trolling. And literally whips me off the best Heady in the game and like clean as hell with the sub. And I was like, <laughs> I watched him. I'm like, yo, wait, this guy's different. And totally, <laughs> you can watch him. Like, bro, he would just chop mid across. I'm just perfect zaps. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, John was different. Dude, he Especially was crazy. Was stiff, bro. The guy was stiff, bro. Yeah, him and Ab John, dude. In, in BO3 chow VMPs cross map, bro. Bro, oh, cross, like, they don't care, bro. They did not care. John was winning the gunfight, bro. It didn't throw your ass on guard, too, bro. Because you sitting there with an MA, you sitting there like, oh, yeah, like, I got him, bro. But he's just sitting there. Like, yo, you want to this shit, bro? <laughs> Unbelievable. And he's hitting you with shots. Like, yo, I'm one shot, bro. I got to back down. All right. like, so, yeah, that's crazy, man. So, so we were all pros, right? Me and Jay have talked about this before. There's like a game within the game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like the game within the game is like, you know, when I'm going up against like a, a Clay or something, I'm like, all right, I know Clay's gonna be up here. I'm gonna jump this corner. I'm gonna have to gun him here. Yeah. And like, like for you, there's the game within the game. So like, who are some of those tough challenges like in the AR position where you're like extra focused? Uh, like, who gives you a hard time? Mm, ooh, let me think. Okay, or a good Cell, battle. I think Cell is an easy answer. I mean, especially with all like all of us ARs, we know all of our like hot spots where we like to go, where we like to break off. So it's not like a, we're surprised, especially with like a break off or a certain hill, a certain spot. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like an ego, like you know where I'm, where I'm at, and I'm you know where I'm, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. I know he's gonna hold it from here. So it's just one of those where it just comes down to like like how strong like you know Donnie was is like the iron or the gun, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's one of those things where like with Cell, Cell always gives me a hard time. Uh, Sam. Insight when I first came in, I, dude, I still remember me and Matt were like talking about it. We were like, bro, like this guy, we couldn't find him. And then we were like, watch it, but like, bro, this guy's low key, just like, he's just on the best headies, bro. This guy's yeah, just bro. at all times. He got the, he got the best credit. I remember Robin and Shinko, I'm like, damn, this guy's got the best credits, dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when he, when he the tree. The, uh, the tree. Oh, on yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, damn, he was whipping them out, bro. That's yeah, yeah, 12 yeah. years later, I'm learning new spots. Yeah, yeah you bro. Can, you can't range. disrespect Insight because he's going to spots like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. can't. Yeah. Mean, he's guaranteeing a kill so like you kind of have to approach to like you know, throw your tax or you know saying shoulder and see if he's there maybe match like heady for heady type thing but wait didn't you 180 what? him on fortress was that you on stage on fortress? he got 180 no no that, that was that, that was uh that was dan okay 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 yeah, 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 yeah. wait wait so you got the your tough matchups who the hell is your easy matchups though, bro? Like, who is it that you uh, no, I got... and just be like, yo, I go lie, this guy don't stand a chance versus me. I mean, there's a decent amount of people that I think about. Like, I can't even cap that or just think. He said there's a decent amount. I mean, there I, is. I, I, I mean, the list is long. 
I can't you only made bro. three players that are tough for you. Keep that in mind, bro. And there's a decent amount of people that you make it easy work out. I don't want to. Nah, I don't want. I can't hear because like because I just know who's like also grinding the game and not. So I could just tell by the the, the left stick. Oh. You know what I mean? The way they're moving, it it looks mm -hmm. stiff, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my <laughs> God, but I don't want to like. I can't disrespect anyone because if I do, they're just gonna turn it to God, bro. You know what I mean? And you know, I'm like just, when I you're watching a that. match, Brandon, you see the guy hit his head on the window on his way out, and you're like, "There's yeah, no yeah, way yeah. that guy's gunning me." <laughs> Like on, like on the way, he's like, yo, he's watching out trying to leave a room, but then he hits the wall on the way out before he does this. I'm like, hey, yo, he's not winning this 1v1. There's no way, dude. There's no way. That's amazing. <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. So, Brandon, we're to the point now. We just hit the hour mark. It's time for the friendly fire segment. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay's going to list off some people. It's either ors, right? Uh, and it's, yep. it's these players in their prime. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, we want you to pick who you're taking for your squad alongside you. Um... And then we got some funny ones then, but Jay, you could kick it off, man. Let's uh, start right. it up. All right, man. So here we go. We're going to start off with who you taking. Okay, Crim like six this. or Karma in their prime. Damn. Just go <laughs> off right away. Just right right away. Red, bro. Right oh, damn. Red. Uh, I, like, uh, dang, I got to take Damon. I mean, this is not a surprise to some people, but that's that's my go. You know what I'm saying? DBP. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I got to take Damon. Why, right off the bat, though, like, uh, you picked Damon. Like, no love to Krim. Like, not even consideration. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Krim, Krim is goaded for sure. Like, he's definitely, like, bro, he's one of the goats. You know what I mean? But it's just Damon. There's just something about, like, I don't know, playing with him. Like, he would just, he wouldn't come and then, like, be champ Sunday, like, a big ass scenario, like, map four, and then just pop a four piece. You know what I mean? Like, damn, yeah. bro, this guy is icy, bro. I love that. But, uh, <laughs> All right. Next up. Next up. Uh, who you taking? Some young players so far in the league. We got mm. Nero or Kremp. Who you got? Ooh. I got to take... Uh, damn, Kremp's looking pretty good. Uh, I, I still got to take Nero, though, because I think what... Nero would just win some hard-ass gunfights. He'll just dude. randomly run into a hill and then get a... I don't know, like, just shit on some dude off a heady and then be half health and then just shit on another kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what the <laughs> fuck? But, like, he, he just, like, he's kind of like the... Like, he'll randomly just enter a hill and just do something, like, insane. But um, also with Kremp, he's, like, he's still new. So there's, I guess let's... Uh, Bro, hold on. We gotta talk. We gotta talk about Nero for a second, bro. That guy is turn. If you yeah, ever watched him in the middle of a match, I yeah. always don't, dude. If you haven't noticed it, Brandon, next time you watch, bro, he's throbbing in his chair. He's leaning back and forth, Whoa. like, like Whoa, literally. Nah, I haven't noticed that. <laughs> okay, hold on, leaving, hold, on. hold on. He's rocking. <laughs> he, is, he is headed. He is headed front, baby. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, front. he's rocking that back and forth in his chair, and I'm like, bro, what is good with this guy? He is literally twisted. He's turned. All right, next one, Jay. Uh <laughs> All right, bro. You ready? It gets even more tougher as we go as we keep going, bro. Who you taking? Simp or BZ? Ooh, whoa. Okay, they're both nasty before I, to clarify, but I can't lie. I'm going to take a BZ. Ooh, I just, instant? Uh, yeah, cuz I don't know. I feel like a BZ is just like what he does is just, you can't replace it, you know what I'm saying? The the mm. pacing, the tempo, the gunny just I don't know. Like, he'll, like for example, Wait, you hold on, Brandon. Zarkor? You remember you said that? Prime Abizi, Prime Simp. Prime Abizi, Prime Simp. I'm still thinking, hey, if I ain't going, I can't even front. Okay. I mean, I, mean, since, I, I think, I think Abizi, think... for example, at Champs, at BO4, yeah. no one talks about this, bro. This guy had a 1.3 grapple song. You know how insane that Ooh. is? Bro, this guy's flying in the hill with a 1. Point, bro, bro, this guy is getting two minimum every single hill, every, every single break. Graph slam three piece. <laughs> yeah. Give me that. I'm out of here. He's That's different. Got streak, so. And he's so good yeah, at SD, nah, bro. He's a too, though. Like, it's not even like a. It's just like you're just comparing him to a BZ. I don't. I think a BZ is like. He's like one of one. Like, it's like him, like Ant, you know what I'm saying? Kyler, yeah. like Simp. They're all in like their own like tier of like a. They're all kind of just unique, I guess, to like to what they do for their teams and stuff. But that guy's different okay. for sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, next we, up, we don't even got to ask the next one. Yeah, I don't even got to ask you. I just want to hear your answer, bro. I, yeah. I got to hear it. Who you taking, Formal or Clayster? Oh, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like, to me, I think Matt, in my opinion, is Loki the GOAT, especially with what I know and, like, like the conversations he's had. Like, especially, obviously, he doesn't have, I mean, he has, like, the accomplishments and, like, the mm -hmm. achievement, you know what I mean? But like, compared to, like, some of the people with three or has anyone? Does anyone have four rings? That'd no. Be insane, nah, nah, no one's got that'd four be yet. No one's ridiculous. got four. Wait, that'd be crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that stands a chance is it's Clay, Clay, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Clay is go to too. Yeah. Clay is go to too for what he like does for like all of his teams. You know what I mean? But I think mm -hmm. with Matt, he's just different, bro. Like he just like it's just the will to like just no, no matter the series, no matter the, the game, no matter his team, no matter the situation. It just feels like he's gonna do whatever it takes to win. So 
Um, and he also in his prime, like I think he had like a three-year stretch where he, like no one killed him, bro. Like it was crazy, mm -hmm. especially me. My first year in the league, I'm like, holy shit! Like this three-year like, stretch where no one killed him. No one killed him, bro. I remember like, screaming, "I'm like, bro, these guys are winning champs." And then like three days later, this guy's hoisting a trophy. I'm like, okay, at least I called it. Like, <laughs> dude, I know everybody. Yeah. yeah, I can't give Matt that supreme gas, bro. Yeah, bro, you were a hard. It's hard, it's hard, but it, but like he was him, bro. Honestly, he really was. He was though, yeah. Uh, like, and his he just had such a good mentality towards the game. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, it radiated mm -hmm. of like he's confident. All right, yeah, I, I gotta ask this next one, Jay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you take over. Hold you, baby. I feel <laughs> like I, I feel like um, you're gonna give an instant answer to this, but I don't know, sensor or parasite? Ooh. Oh no! Like, damn, I'm, I'm, <laughs> prime sensor, I'm a, prime haggy. I gotta take prime haggy because like For real? he's still well, yeah. Because Doug like. I mean, Doug is like, it's not even like a roast to Doug or anything. It's just one of those things where I know Haggy's mind, like, especially even today, like, he's still one of, like, the smarter minds just in the community just to break he down, is. like, you know, just a, mm -hmm. like a hard point scenario or anything like that. So he's still, like, involved with it. And I know in his prime, like, he probably just doesn't have, like, the gunny or the, you know what I'm saying, like, the mechanics that he did, I don't know, back then. But it's like his mind hasn't changed, but you can tell, like, maybe in his prime, like, in BO2, I don't know, was he was probably ripping people off headies and shit. And that, like, he's, so I'm just he was of, final like, at BO2. He was. I teamed yeah. him in that game. He was really good. That was good. prime, right, probably? Yeah. Oh, that was for sure his prime. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the guy I was dropping 1.3s. And he won champs. Like, he won champs. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. He did have DB3 at champs, who was goaded. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, no, actually, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, their team was <laughs> godlike. Dude, their team was godlike. They had prime <laughs> Damon and prime Killer. I'm killer was gross. I'm killer was gross. Wasn't Mira final too? And Mira was final. Yeah, Mira, Mira was, was a BZ. Final. He was a BZ of BO2. He was. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was, yeah. That's they ran it down then. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Next one Draza or Scrappy? Ooh. I got to take Draza just because, I mean, Scrappy's nasty and he's definitely. I don't know, though. I feel like Draza is kind of like a. One of those players that he's just a grinder, you know what I'm saying? He's, I yeah. think he has like a little more, or oh, not, not a little, but he's got like two or three or four more than their chips than uh, Scrappy, right? And he's, he's also him, nasty yeah. at SD. He is. He's also really good at SD. He's got a ring. I mean, it's kind of hard not to go with draws. Um, I don't know. He's just like a, he's like a rat to play against, too. You know what I mean? Like he won't ever challenge you unless he's like on a better heady or whatever, but he's kind of like what you need on a team. It's kind of yeah. what Dan does, but yeah. Kind of really similar to Dan. Um, uh, just speaking on that, do you want to put any of that to bed at all? People are saying that there's beef between you guys and, and thieves like Draza and you guys, but yeah. from what the way I look at it, it just seems like there's no like it's not like real beef. It's just like a funny mm -hmm. comment. Yeah, no, nah, there's no beef at all. It's not like one of those things where we see each other and there's like yo people got to hold us back and shit. But... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, you better chill, bro. <laughs> yeah, we are, we're actually pretty cool. I mean, um, me and Dill will still talk to each other. Uh, me and Draws whenever we played each other, it's just like. We're cool with each other and then ken like we'll say what's up but you yeah know, the same same thing but it's just one of those things that when you're competing it's just in the heat of the moment i mean we're obviously uh, like we're just like a, I guess looked at as like a rivalry just because it's like thieves versus optic you know what i mean and i guess it's been going back since vo4 but yeah just one of those things where there's just a lot of like end game shit talk i mean especially with, like dan dan will dan he don't give a fuck bro like he's yeah, just, i love that <laughs> he's in game chat up. bro he's in game chat bro he's pressing z bang and letting it <laughs> I'm like, and okay. I'm like, it's flawless too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. And then I guess Draws is similar too, so it's just like one of those. All right. Uh, Brandon, uh, crack aim or snaking? If one has to be in the game and the other one oh. isn't. Get rid of snaking, bro. What the fuck <laughs> is this, bro? Come on, bro. We're just sitting here snaking. Everyone's a like, good form. What? Yo, what, yo, what happened, bro? There, there was snaking back in the day. Dude, this is what I was, I was talking about this with somebody. I was like, yo, I feel like the league now is just completely different. Because, like, I feel like back then, like, people would know, like, something snaking is... Like, in IW, for example, there were only one team doing it. It was the Splice, right? And then they stopped yeah. doing it eventually. But, mm -hmm. but like, it was just unanimous. You know, like, okay, this shit's insane. We're not doing it. You know what I mean? And then yeah. everybody... You'd go to tournaments. You wouldn't have to worry about it. Nothing. Like, there wouldn't be... If somebody did it, it was, like, by accident. They, they were one shot, lay down, then they child. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't one, like, repeated type shit. But I feel like recently now, it's just, like... I don't know. It, it feels like more... I don't want, like, because obviously people, everyone wants to win and they're just having that mindset of like, fuck it, like, you know what I'm saying, whatever it takes for the win, but it's just more grimy now, you know what I'm saying? How is it got like, so oh, grimy? Yeah. Like, bro, I remember Dude, like, IW, like, we were like, yo, let's just not do it because it's corny, because if I do it, he's mm -hmm. going to do it to me and I just don't yeah, want to deal with it. it. Yeah, and we we saw, like, you know what I'm saying, like, the trickle-down effect of like, okay, if he does it, he's going to do it now. He's going to do it, like, the whole league's going to start doing it. 
but now now people just understand because like maybe they lost like a scrim by 10 points you know what i'm saying because some dude snaked by by accident because he's one shot then they're like what the fuck dude and they start scrimming the whole or they start snaking the whole um other map and then it just it just comes with like a he did this and he did that and then i didn't even mean to do that this is one of those things where it's like it, well honestly it's on the game first because the game's got to fucking fix that shit true but we know we know they're not going to fix it but it's like one of those things where it's like people are like, i don't know it's just champs like yo imagine I don't know, these champs like that i do think the like, game has to fix it but i'm also on the side of like bro you could not snake like it's a weird bro, thing like, some, like, bro, like you're laying down high, and popping bro. up over and over like bro. Bro. Like you can lay down and pop really? up if you want to get cover, but snaking is yeah. like a straight up cheese. Like nah, it's insane, bro. It's insane. Like I don't know. Like a little bit with Jason, just have some like competitive integrity, bro. It's not even one of those things where it's just like I don't know. Like at least back then, it was like okay, no, you're there. Like it wasn't like a thing. Like you gotta like not like not snake because like, you no one even talked to me because you just see anyone doing it, you'd be like, bro, like this is so cheesy, and then like you get roasted mm-hmm. once, you'd be like, fuck that, I ain't get roasted for this shit. Like yeah got, i don't know but some people, some people just don't give a fuck bro well we used to ban yeah. people from eights for snake and we're like well we're not gonna play against you if you snake that's literally what it was <laughs> yeah, bro legit. yeah all right well glad that you know you're aligned there because that that shit is whack that's um, just horrible, bro. all right next one now listen me and jay play this game a lot obviously we're not pros but we grind and mm. i would say the worst thing that i've ever experienced ever in cod is being sound horde to this degree Oh my I mean, god, that dude, you're my brother. All like... Brother, this is EQ or no red dots. Which one are you picking oh, if it has to be god, in the game? This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even care like that much about red dots. We gotta get rid of this deadie sh- or this, no, this this EQ shit, bro. Can we, I got deadie or something? This is absurd, bro. I'm a trophy player. I can't move on some of these maps, bro. Impossible. <laughs> Going to bedroom on a hotel. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, dude, you're this dead. is like I'm waiting. I know a sub with the, with the, yo. I know a Vaz is looking there with Daddy, just like, oh, he don't know where I'm gonna flank his ass from. Oh, oh, can't <laughs> wait just, to catch his ass. <laughs> yeah, nah. That, I definitely get rid of like. I think not having Daddy is worse than pretty much anything in this game. Maybe snaking is close, like, like a close second. But bro, like that, that's top two for me, bro. Like you, that's the worst. Like, like red dots is like it's pretty bad, but it's not even as close as those two in my opinion. Yeah, because EQ, bro, it's like the guy got hacks on, bro. Like, oh, he's, he's, got hacks. he's got at least he with did. no red dots. If you got good communication, you can make up a little bit with no red dots, you know. Yeah. So, you can't stop getting sound hold, bro. So, Dude, it's so I'm bad, completely with you. No red dots, I'm bro. with that. Bro. Give Have me you daddy, thought of this? Bro. You're yeah, literally nah, training real. in the hyperbolic time chamber, bro. Oh, when we go God, to when bro. we go to the next game and you have dead silence, you're gonna be like, if we have it, hopefully, Whoa. you're gonna Whoa, feel that's a big F. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> F. Or if they add it somehow, like, can you imagine the difference in how that's gonna feel? Uh, but anyways, on the EQ thing, when did you learn about that? And have people been using that for a long time? Because I heard Ooh. that uh Teams have been using it for like a couple of years. Yeah, for a minute. I got some info on this. Yeah, this is crazy. I feel like, I mean, I learned about this in Champs of Cold War. This is like going back. Jeez. Yeah, this is going back a what? minute. But listen, just know that, just know that Krim, he did some investigation work on a team. Because me and Ender are obviously really good friends. He was like, bro, listen, this one team's like, they're, they're grimy as fuck, bro. They've been using this <laughs> shit. And then Porter went into their PPA. And then he did his duck sensor wire like type shit. Then he did some investigation. Wait, then he just went on their computer and figured. Bro, it out. he didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck. Like, he, he walked in and he, dude, because no bullshit. He was like, bro, this guy low key could be like hacking. And I'm like, dude, this guy, like, whatever. And then he looked at she's like, no, nah, they're using this shit. And then I remember I tried it in the warm up of our PPA, and I was like, damn, I hear everything, but I, I don't know. It felt weird at first, and I was like, I don't know if I want to play with this. It's champs, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't want to risk like, because you know how it is. I don't know if you guys have played with it, but. It does mess with the audio, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Your gun sounds a little lower. Like, yeah. like the, I was able to hear slides, and I don't know if I, I probably could hear footsteps, but I wasn't really, like, I don't know. I, I didn't really mess with it too much, but I found out about it in Cold War, and I know for a fact that people were using it against us. Mm. Or not, like, maybe I, maybe at least a specific, you know what I'm saying, couple teams, but yeah, um, it's definitely crazy. If, if we would have known about it, I don't know. I felt like Did it you was... use it Vanguard next year? Nah, because I didn't even, well, one, there's Daddy in Vanguard, so like, oh, I felt yeah, like I use it. Yeah, but. I feel like we've known about it for a minute, but it wasn't as OP in, like until this year, just because I mean, there's no daddy in this game, so like you can just like make have hacks. So, so Krim figures out about it, and what does he do? Like he just tells everybody else. Like obviously, Krim's yeah. got a he's got a big mouth. <laughs> so he well, just yeah. yeah, nah, he's in the TS. Be like, dude, no, we would have won champs. You know, we would have won, right, Brandon? <laughs> and I'm like, why are you telling me this shit? Like, we... he's like, nah, bro, you know this is bullshit. Well, yeah. then, so it's one of those things where it's like i don't know like like it, i was talking about me and it was obviously really good friends so it was kind of one of those things where we'd be in a ts just like bsing and then 
we can talk about like, like oh yeah it kind of does make sense why they play like that or you know what i'm saying but yeah i don't know it's just Damn. definitely not good but she, crim, crim actually did was like the, the sherlock that Holmes guy was on patrol bro. Bro. He, nah, he was making sure it. if you're beating crim bro there's there's something up bro yeah. he's like red and listen He's like, you're on the Pine Park right now, right? I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, What's I'm like, not three, bro. He's like, nah, you guys are baked right now. There's no way. I'm like, okay, nah. I'm like, yo, this guy's checking me out. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Yo, That's, amazing. Bad, That's amazing, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was funny, though. He's the man, though. Um, <laughs> That's basically all I got here. Jay, did you have any follow-ups to the, the EQ one? Yeah, nah, I don't have no follow up to the EQ one. I have more of like a human, you know, heart to heart moment. Obviously, I've watched you enter the league, bro. It's been insane. I've been supporting you the entire time. I'm not a biased cast or anything like that, but you know, you're my guy, bro. And yeah, if I'm father. supporting you, yeah, if I'm supporting you, bro, what is it like having the support of your family? Because I know you have such oh, a beautiful yeah. family, mm. your mother, your father, your brother always come out to these events, man. What yeah. is that like for you to always know that they are in your corner regardless of the situation? Yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, my mom is, she came to my first ever event because I still remember, um, Cause I remember I like, I kind of like told like a little white line to my parents. Like I was like, yo, like I won this tournament. I get to go to like, you know, this one or the, uh, yeah, Anaheim. Yeah, yeah. And if we didn't win, we got like top eight at the 2K. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we was, was like, vibing though, bro. Yeah, we yeah, was yeah. out there. Yeah, my mom was like, mm, yeah, I'm coming out. What is this like gaming tournament? Like she just thought it was a scam. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can come through. And then she like, I really, like, all it took was literally, um, one event. And then she was sold ever since. And now she's like always keeping up with uh, the games and, even like my brother and my my uh my dad like they were kind of like newer i guess you could say like i guess in supporting because i mean they just like they would watch online but they weren't like coming to these events and like i think it was until like mm -hmm. three four years ago but my mom was like literally there since day one and obviously she doesn't come to every single one but like she'll come to the ones that like she can and mm -hmm. i mean it, it means a lot because obviously i mean it's it's a fam you know what i'm saying so i just want to yeah. i mean, you know i don't know it's just it's different because they're always there regardless of the situation so it does mean a lot. I swear, bro. Every time I watch your family at the event, more specifically your brother, some people actually stop and I'm thinking that he's you, bro. I yeah, no, nah, he always him. says it. I he thought he was you. Even, even it, even it thought he was you, bro. Like, I just finished that segment. Like twins. I turned around, I'm like, That's Brandon, crazy. you were frying. And he was like, what? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah. My brother's a man also. And he's always wearing the jacket too, bro. Yeah. He's just basically. Yeah. That's what got me. Thick. Yeah, he's an imposter, bro. <laughs> First of all, bro, I just gotta say that's super dope. Your family's awesome. Mm -hmm. Your mom's like the nicest yeah, yeah. person I've ever it. met. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, bro. That's gotta feel awesome. Uh, you know, a lot of people are starting to have their families come out. Uh, but it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Your mom is at every single event, bro, and uh, you always turn up. Whenever she's no. in that front row, you always yeah, whenever turn she's up. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Shout out, mama, mama Dash. <laughs> yeah, she might have yeah, to yeah. make it out to all these events. Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. you playing yeah. like that, brother? Yeah. Are you are you are you hyped for uh, Toronto coming up? Obviously, that's in oh, like, your sure. home land. How far did you do you live from like Toronto, like your family? It was like uh, three four hours, but basically, I mean, I mean, it's my first event ever. Well, last year was my first event ever, like in Canada. It feels kind of crazy to say because I always felt like there should have been like a Toronto or Montreal, or, like somewhere in Vancouver. Yeah. You know what I'm saying because I felt like Canada is like it's got some lit cities. You know what I mean? But, it does. I mean, until last year, it was like the the first year where actually no, we had one in World War II, right? There was like some yeah, you remember? Did you, you that was the yeah. yeah, we was on five oh. How you got near five five? Yo, wait a second, bro. What's up, bro? Five Yo, nah, nah. Hold up, bro. Wait, I just that's how back, we bro. lost, bro. Yo, I remember five one. Fun, I'm like, yo, we got this shit. We going to finals, baby. And the next yeah. thing you know, all I hear is yo, I got made it. Oh. It's a Haggy middle 22, bro. Flag, dude. He never oh, had yeah, flag, yeah, yeah. bro. Dude, he had a fast class, bro. Because you know how he's like, nah, I'm not slow, bro. What the fuck? Always, like, dude. Airborne, airborne trying to rush water steps on London Ducks. Like, <laughs> yo, what the fuck? Nah, I can't have a, what's the thing? Uh, I don't know. It feels like definitely playing in Toronto. I mean, I, d I have a couple of my friends going out also, so it's not just my family. It, honestly, just the food there is crazy. It's just the vibe. I don't know. I just, it's it's, it's the motherland. It's you know home, know? baby. It's home, yeah, baby. It's, it's home. Yeah, Ain't yeah, nothing like playing at home, man. And Brandon, it's remember. Back there. You can win in your home country and get Ooh. revenge on the team that beat you in Major Three. So That's it's your all, own it's home, all, it's, all, it's all in the cards, bro. Oh, Full yeah. circle, brother. Yeah, man. We don't forget. Just put it like that. Love that. <laughs> well, Brandon, listen, man. I I'm, I've been uh, blessed to watch your journey. It's been incredible so far. I know you're not done. Uh, this rest of the season is going to be dope. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to come on, man. I learned a lot about like uh, you know your story and then what you you went through and stuff like that. So it was pretty dope to to get to chat, brother. 
Yeah, nah, thanks yeah. for having me on. This was lit. This was lit. Yeah, yeah brother, you know, just want to appreciate you, bro. You know, you my guy, bro. I love you, bro. Nah, I love see you too. Doing what you do. Continue doing Come what you're doing, baby. Keep shining, bro. Hey, thank you for coming on, brother. Appreciate oh, yeah. you, bro. All right, guys, audio listeners, much love. Make sure you guys give us five stars. If you want to leave a rating that's not five stars, then just don't ever watch again. Uh, on YouTube, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.